We will now set savings and investments. Your Quicken accounts are automatically entered for you. If necessary, you can add more. If you would like to exclude an account, highlight the account to be excluded and click Exclude from Plan. Click the Investments button. Your Quicken investments are also automatically entered for you. If you would like to exclude any, you may do so in the same manner as a cash account. Click the Return button. Here you can enter in your expected rate of return. Since the rate of return is likely to be different after retirement, Quicken allows you to enter an after-retirement amount as well. This box determines how much of your gains will be subject to tax each year. Stocks with lots of dividends, bonds, or frequent trading will likely have a higher amount of taxable gain each year. Remember, if your gain at no point becomes cash, it is unlikely to cause a taxable event. We will now set up homes and assets. The asset accounts automatically enters your Quicken information from your assets account. If you would like to exclude an item, select the items and click the Exclude from Plan box. The excluded item is now faded. Exclude any other items that you do not want to be a part of your plan. Click the Planned Assets tab. In this tab, we can enter in information about any large purchases we are planning on making. Click the New button. Here we can enter in information about our purchase. If you do not know many of the specifics, add in your best guess. This is for planning purposes. Click the Next button to continue. If this purchase is a house, select the This Asset is a House checkbox. If this purchase is going to be your primary residence, select the This House Is or Will Be My Primary Residence checkbox. If you are planning on selling this asset in the future, select the I Plan to Sell This Asset On button and the date you expect to sell it. Click Done to continue. We can now create a loan associated with this asset. Click the Loans button. Click New to add a loan. Enter in your loan information and click Next to continue. Enter your interest rate and payment amount or after entering your interest rate, click the Calculate button to have Quick and Calculate the payment for you based on your loan length and interest rate. If you have a balloon payment, enter in your balloon payment information here. Click Done to continue. Your future loan amount is now recorded. Click the Done button. We will now record planned expenses associated with the asset. First, we will enter in tax expenses associated with the asset. Next, we will add asset expenses such as maintenance. Enter in a name or description of the expense and click Next. Enter in your expense information including the frequency of the expense. Enter in the expected increase in the cost of the expense per year. Click the Next button to continue. Insert the amount you have already saved towards the expense. Insert the amount, if any, in loans you plan to take out to fund the expense. Insert the amount, if any, you are trying to save each month towards this expense. Click the Done button to save and exit. Click the Done button to save and exit. Click the Done button to save and exit. Please select the following options.